What's this? Can it really be true? Have the stars finally aligned? Is all right in the universe? Are the galactic scales finally balanced? Has Marcus finally accomplished a regular upload only two months after the last episode? Can it be true? Yep. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We are back in old school today. Last time we did RuneScape 3, we're back in old school. And when we played RuneScape 3, we uh, we did a little quest. I said we were gonna take a break from quests, but I'm trying to reach level 30 and a bunch of skills in RuneScape 3. One of the ways I was gonna do that was to do Knight's Sword. So I don't see it on the list. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Where is it? Did I? <laughs> Did I already do it in old school? Am I crazy? What's going on? When did I do this quest? Oh my gosh. I am a mess right now. I'm a mess. So at some point I did it in old school and I don't even know when. Okay, well, good Lord. My life is a mess. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna do some fletching, all right? We're gonna do some fletching. Let's see, what, what's our fletching level? One, beautiful. Beautiful. Can I sub just for that smooth, smooth voice? Oh, you haven't heard anything yet. You want my radio voice? This is Marcus Hooper playing Old School Tonight on YouTube, <laughs> whatever my radio station is called. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this in there. You know what, how much money do we have? Can we buy a red cape? I'm sick of this, I'm sick of this cape. Should I buy a red cape? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, look at us. Look at us. That looks so much better. Oh my gosh, that for real looks so much better than the, the cape that we had before, that bandit cape. Get out of here with that. Look, we dropped some money on that, on this cape. That cape was free, okay? This cape, we dropped some cashola on that. I don't know what's going on over here. We got some, some cultists over there, but look at this. Here, let's get out of here beyond the wall. Look at this cape right here. Mm, mm. I might just be the sexiest character in the game. Let's go to Lumbridge to start our fletching. We're gonna use the logs at the top of the castle and just do some crazy fletching. Just go for it, just really go for it. And then once we get to a level where we can use a different log, we'll go get a different log. Hey, look at us. Who would've thought, huh? Not me, not me, that's for sure. That's for sure, that's for darn sure. Oh, I hope I have a knife. I might not have one. Please tell me, I don't have a knife. Dang it, I don't wanna go back. I don't wanna go back to the Grand Exchange. Is there one at the general store? Or is there a drop somewhere that I can get one? So someone in my chat suggested that it might be in the basement. So, to the basement. Yep, booyah. Thanks to Aaron or Olaf, God bless. He told me that it was down here. Thank you, Aaron. Now let's just go back upstairs and we are good to go. I thought those were logs. I was about to snatch them. About to snatch them right up. All right, while we start fletching these logs, let's go ahead and hop on over to RuneScape 3. So while we were chopping some trees, we got this medium clue scroll and it says, speak to Donovan, the family handyman. Someone in my friend's chat, which by the way is OSVSRS3, if you wanna join it by the way, said that it's north of Camelot, Sinclair Mansion. So we're gonna take a little break from woodcutting for a second and go do this. Just to give you an update, 31 fire making, 26 wood cutting. So we're gonna go do this clue scroll and then come back and get back at it. Here we go. Donovan, oh Donovan, where are you Donovan? Elizabeth, Donovan, the family handyman. Okay, there he is. Here you go. Oh, he knew I was doing this already. It's weird. What does this say? What does this say? Zero, zero degrees, 13 minutes south. 14 degrees, zero, zero minutes east. What in the world does that mean? Karamja. That's in Karamja. Why is that Karamja? 
I mean, I believe you, but it's still a little weird. Oh, it's Lamorta. Hey, hello. Nice to see you. Oh, so uh, we'll see you there. Oh, and uh, I fixed my zoom sensitivity so I can do this joke now. Isn't it funny? Isn't it hilarious? Aren't we all laughing? Which one takes us to Karamja? Is it this one? Is this it? Oh, I guess so. Bye. <laughs> I hope I'm going to Karamja. <laughs> I'm definitely going somewhere. So we're here now. So where do we have to go? Here we go. Lead the way. Watch, Lamorta is just scamming me or something. Gonna <laughs> take me to some... Oh, it's here. I found a scroll box. I found another clue. Observe. Observe. In the crate just north of the stairs leading down, you will find the answer. Yanil Lodestone. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me activate the Karumja Lodestone while I'm here. Where is it? Pay money to get to Karumja? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. While we're going to go get this Lodestone unlocked, let's head back over to Old School RuneScape and see how that fletching's going. Look at all those trees down there taunting me. Get out of my face, trees. Oh, I'm coming for you. I'm going to cut you all down. I'm going to cut you all down. So uh, I'm going to be grinding away in this stream. So, oh, we just hit level two. Only one more level, and we can go chop down some trees as well. Oh, boy. But I sure do wish I had some of those protean packs, because I could be doing fire making and fletching all at the same time. But I know a lot, I know all you old school players are going to say, but this is, this is what's better, is the grind is getting into it, just grinding away. You know what, if I wanted grinding, I would stay in middle school. That was terrible. That was bad, it was a bad joke. I apologize. I apologize. You know what, let's just, let's just go back to RuneScape 3 for a bit. I can't, I can't. That was too much, too much. What are we doing this for again? Oh, Treasure Hunter. Not Treasure Hunter, but the Clue Scroll. Oh, I forgot what we were even <laughs> doing. Hopefully there's not too many steps left. Oh, I lost you. Hang on. This anagram reveals who to speak to next. Winston Lane. Hmm. I don't know. But I haven't known this whole way. I've been pretty dumb. Nails Newton. Uh, La Muerte, you're, you're much smarter than I am. <laughs> All right, to Taverly we go. You here for something? I'm trying to complete a treasure trail. Well, you need to do this favor for me first. I haven't done this quest either. That's a pretty fun one. How many tables are there and pick and loot in? Answer is 10. Okay. Do I just have to say 10? Oh, okay. I thought I had to just say 10. I found a casket. All right. Let's open this baby up. What's inside? What's inside? Green dragon hide. Nature runes. Wow. 800k. Nice. Nice. Well, me and my friend here are going to head to the Grand Exchange. And while we do that, let's go ahead and head on back to old school RuneScape. Arr. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's get there. Let's get there. Man, you can tell that I'm a, I'm a RuneScape 3 player. I mean, obviously I play both, but you can tell I play RuneScape 3 more because <laughs> I'm not that far into the grind and I'm already sighing a lot. And I've watched other old school YouTubers like just really, really dedicate hours and hours to a grind and only then start to like sigh and get tired of it. And uh, I, I'm only a few minutes in, so. <laughs> oh, there it is. Level three fletching. Now here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to, gonna, <laughs> what am I drunk? We're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna deposit the ring. <laughs> I gave up on that bit quick. I'm coming for you trees. I'm coming. I'm the opposite of a tree hugger. Not a polluter, but I just cut down the trees. But I guess that's also a real life problem. You know what? I won't, I'm not gonna <laughs> dig my hole any further. Time to die, trees. Yeah. Take, take that. How's that feel? Boom! And now we're in RuneScape 3. Isn't that fun? You having a good time? All right. Okay. Everything sold except the natures, which we're going to keep. Let's see how much money we got. Wow. We now have over a million. 
We have over one mil. Just from the, just from one medium clue scroll. Wow, 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 wow. I know nothing really could happen to my money, but I'm gonna put it in the, uh, in the bank. <laughs> I don't like walking around with just one mil in my pocket. Going back to Arduin, and I'm going to do some more wood cutting. I wanna get that wood cutting up to 30. We can do it. Isn't this a blast? Isn't it like watching your grandma try to use the internet? Like watching an old person go onto Google and say, Google, could you please, could you please show me how to get to the Facebook? Thank you very much, Google. Also, Google, how's your day going? And you're just like, Grandma, Grandma, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Stop it, Grandma. Watching my stream is like watching your grandma try to play RuneScape. All right, we're back to woodcutting so that we can get to level 30 and start beneath Cursed Tides. But while we're here grinding it out, how about instead of watching me just do woodcutting all day, how about we cut to something a little different? What? I said a little different. That's amazing. I got my wood cutting in RuneScape 3 to level 30, and I wasn't that far off. I think I was at 20 something already. And look at this, I'm only at level six in old school. Like, I, I don't even think, I haven't even done that much wood cutting in RuneScape 3. It's, it's not that I've been doing some grinding. It's just from lamps and, I think that's it, <laughs> lamps and rewards, I'm, I think. I don't know where where else I would have gotten it from. I think my my wife is still here. I think she's doing some cleaning up, so she might not be able to get over to the phone or the computer quickly. But Amy, if you're still here, say hi. I'd like to see your see your name pop up again. I actually found out a faster way to do fletching is to make bronze darts, and to do that, we have to complete the tourist trap. I think we're gonna level up for woodcutting again. Yep, there we go. Twenty woodcutting. We were at level three when we started and now we're at level 20. Maybe it's at 21 we can start using mithril. Yeah, 21. That's so weird. Why is it at the one and not at the whole number? Okay, never mind. I feel like RuneScape 3, and this is not me knocking old school, I'm just making, making a comparison, right? That's what this series is all about. So all you old school players, just keep your britches on, all right? Keep your britches on, keep them on, I think. In RuneScape 3, they've changed it so that at least most of your milestones are at whole numbers. So like, uh, well, the big ones, I, I'll say. Like, you can use better equipment and stuff like that is at either fives or tens. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like that's what it is. Somebody's probably gonna comment and go, no, it's the same. <laughs> and I'm just misremembering, which is very, very possible. So close, we only need five more. So let's go ahead and get those five more. And while we're doing that, let's jump back into RuneScape 3 and see if we've gotten 30 woodcutting yet. So one of my subscribers, Olaf Godbless, actually gave me these urns because woodcutting was going a little slow, but these urns can boost my woodcutting experience by 20%. So I don't actually have the crafting level to make these, but he gave them to me and oh, we got a sealed clue scroll. But he actually gave these to me and then he assisted me in making them. So now my wood cutting should go a little bit faster. So thank you very much, Olaf God bless. All right, so it was taking way too long to level up to 30 smithing. So I am going to just do Knight's Sword because Knight's Sword should bump me up to probably over level 30. I can make you a new one. Let's just skip to the, let's just skip to that. That's what I'm here for. I know you lost your sword. I just want to make you a new one. I want to get 30 smithing, dang it. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Man, if we were playing this, uh, well, if, when we play this in old school, because we're going to have to do it, we're going to have to walk everywhere. We're going to have to walk from Falador to Varrock, and uh, I am not looking forward to that. All right, we talked to the librarian, and my friend Aaron here gave us all the supplies we need for the quest. So now we're gonna head to Port Serum and go find that dwarf. Here we go. Wait, this isn't Port Serum. This is Shantae Pass in old school RuneScape where we're gonna start tourist trap. She seems to be upset and a cries is, and a cries and a cries as you approach her. It's a very offensive Italian accent. Why do I keep doing it? Oh dear, my daughter. Anna has gone missing in the desert. She just wanted to build a snowman. And I kept telling her, Anna, we're in the freaking desert. There's no snow. Is there a reward if I get her back? My character can really be 
a douchebag sometimes. <laughs> I think we go this way. Yeah, go south. Oh, I'm supposed to follow these. Okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. A camel's attacking me? Really? I didn't even know they were aggressive. I think she went in here, if I were to guess. Okay, now I have to search the gate and use the watch search gate. You see what looks like a mining compound. There seems to be people mining rocks. They look as if they're chained to the rocks and they're being watched over by the guards. It's not a very happy place. You notice the people are thoroughly searched as they enter and leave the compound and people wielding weapons or wearing armor are treated quite severely. Watch the mercenary captain. You watch the mercenary captain for some time. He has a large metal key attached to his belt. You notice that he usually gets his men to do his dirty work. Wow, a real captain. Oh, wow. I've never seen a captain before. I'd love to work for a tough guy like you. Oh, yeah? You would? Really? You there. Oh, oh, you there. Sir. Sir. I have some information for you about this guy that you asked me to go find and kill. He's a figment of your diseased imagination. Go look for him yourself and waste your own time if you think he still exists. What if his voice, what if he, <laughs> what if he was like, I've never been so insulted in all my days. Prepare to defend yourself, rich. I'll run you through myself. Uh, what he doesn't know is, um, I actually tricked him. Should've brought some food. I actually didn't think about that. It is taking forever though. Don't do this to me. I only have 12 hit points left. And he has 26 left. Yes. 21 left. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 15 left. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh no. 11 hit points left. He has 10. No, he has seven. No, I have seven. No. Yes. Four. That's it. He drops his metal key. Listen, listen, that was a close one for real. And it shouldn't have been so close. I should have brought food. What is this, my first day? So I know this quest is only just starting, but uh, to be honest, I had such a hard time with this quest. It took me way too long and it's not all gonna fit. It's not all gonna fit in this episode. So I'm just gonna skip to the end, but if you wanna see the whole experience, my trouble that I had with this quest, you can go watch the stream. It's still up on my YouTube channel and you can see the full thing. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna skip right to the end. And there we go, quest complete. <laughs> I am really frustrated right now. It was so, so difficult for me. I don't know why I had such trouble, but it's done. And for the last time in this episode, let's head on back to RuneScape 3. Hello, are you an Im Imkondo? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Imkondo Dwarf? Can you make a special sword? No, I don't do that anymore. Okay. I was worried if I gave him the pie too early that he'd be like, uh, oh, you gave it to me too soon. Please don't kill us. Well, me. Aaron will be fine. <laughs> I'm not that fine. You're pretty fine. I mean, you look great. There it is, blue right. Come to me. I need you for this quest. How many do I need? One for the quest. Th oh, then I have it. I, I actually have two. Let's go then, let's get out of here. Archon Zack said, I do wish RuneScape 3 had its own rune light. I do too. I think that would be awesome. Oh. He is out of the room, but I have to ask the squire. I can't just know where it is. I have to go ask the squire. Dang it. But I know where it is. It's in that cupboard. I love, by the way, he has a picture of him and his father in that cupboard. And just now when I looked through the cupboard, my character was like, there's nothing but junk in here. It's just filled with crap that no one cares about. Okay, what if there's a knight in here? Does he care? Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. I got it. Everything you need, I have. I hate when the chat hasn't been updated, so they, they're they like, you gotta go find this stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'll be right back. And I'm like, I have it. Cause a lot of other quests, if you have it, you're just like, oh, I actually have all that stuff. Okay, this is it. This is it. We did the quest. We didn't want to, but we did it. Or I didn't want to, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> there we go, quest complete. The Knight's Sword, 12,000 smithing XP lamp. Let's rub this lamp. 34. Five! 35 smithing. Look at this. Magic and cooking. That's all that's left. That's all that's left to be able to play this quest.
Well, guys, this is where I'm going to cut it short for today. I'm so excited to get another episode out. I'm still so, so excited to get back. And especially, I'm really excited that next episode, we're going to be using new footage that's not from these streams. So now I officially feel like I'm back back. I really struggled to find a lot of funny stuff from the streams. Not that there weren't funny moments, but a lot of it was kind of situational. You kind of had to be watching the whole stream, so I couldn't really use it. And I felt like I I couldn't do as many jokes as I normally could because when you're doing a quest, it's so much easier to find jokes in the storyline or with the characters. But when you're just skilling, for me at least, it's not as easy to do jokes. So I'm so excited to be doing quests again. We're gonna do Beneath Cursed Tides first thing in RuneScape 3, but then after that, we're going to be following that optimal quest guide. I brought it up in the last episode and a lot of you guys seem to think that that was a really cool idea. And then I'm gonna make separate videos comparing different mechanics in both games that will kind of be adjacent to this series. It's gonna be the same account. It'll be my OS versus RuneScape 3 account, but those videos will specifically focus on comparisons between similar mechanics like mining in one game versus the other or smithing or slayer or, you know, etc. But then this series is going to kind of remain what it has become, which is kind of a comparison series. It's like a side-by-side -side comparison series. And we're gonna do the optimal quest guide and it's gonna be kind of like a race, you know, because they're both optimized for each version of the game. So I wanna see how fast we can level up in each game by following this quest order. And I also wanna see who maybe could get to the quest cape first. I would assume that old school might actually be able to get to the quest cape first because I think there are fewer quests in old school RuneScape. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's my hypothesis is that old school will get to the quest cape first, but I think RuneScape 3 will get to the max cape first. So that's what I think, but I can't wait to see what the results are. We're also going to film the actual first episode of I Make My Wife Play RuneScape we're gonna film that really soon. I can't wait to start that series. Amy is excited. I'm excited. I'm still super bummed that that footage that we originally filmed didn't work out, but we're gonna be doing it again. I'm really excited because she's super cute and she says the cutest stuff and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I also do want to start streaming more, but I'm running into this issue where I made a Twitch channel, but I, I really don't love the idea of streaming to Twitch anymore because I really want to focus more on growing my YouTube channel since it's been so long since I've made content. So I'm thinking about just streaming to my YouTube channel for now and then maybe moving to Twitch later. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would prefer to watch live streams here on YouTube or if you would prefer Twitch or if you don't care, you could watch it either way. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you haven't already, please leave this video a like and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of what we've got coming up. You guys are awesome. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.